After delivering over 800 speeches in the last five years, I know a thing or two about making a speech standing ovation worthy. And I'm going to be sharing with you today the six keys to a standing ovation worthy speech that builds credibility and connection. And I've made it super simple for you to remember using an acronym, speech. The first key is storytelling. Second key is personality. Third is entertainment. Fourth is emotion. Fifth is content. And sixth is how. Now I'm gonna dive in deeper into each of these six keys. So the first one is storytelling. Storytelling is so important in delivering a speech because it builds connection. It helps people to connect with you on a deeper level. Your story makes you unique. There are tons of speakers out there. It's a very crowded marketplace. And there's a lot of speakers that are probably talking on your topic. But there is only one you. There is only one you and one of your stories. And you're the only one who can share that story with the world. And this makes you unique. And it makes you stand out. Stories show that you are the expert. When you can share your story and show how you went from point A to point B, how you went from where they are now to where they want to be, then that makes you the expert in their eyes. And personally, I would way rather have someone who's been there, who's lived it, who has firsthand experience in what I want to do in my life than any amount of degrees or numbers or letters after somebody's name. It's life experience that matters most. And through your story, you can build that credibility and show why you are the expert. Your story makes you relatable. So people can relate to you because they understand where you're coming from. You build rapport with your audience through your story. You're opening up to them and you're sharing a part of your soul with them. And that builds instant connection and rapport and helps them to be able to relate to you in a deep way. Your story is your foundation. It is the foundation of your business, of your message, of the work that you're doing in the world. I'm going to share with you an easy tool for you to find your story. I go a lot more in depth on this process in the Center Stage program, but this is the amazing tool that I start my Center Stagers off learning. The first thing to remember is B plus B equals DM. Breakdown plus breakthrough equals diamond moment. Now I'm gonna go into these in a little more detail to help you to discover your own story. Breakdown is where things came down on you, where you felt like you were in that breaking point, that breaking moment, where it didn't feel like anything else could go wrong. And it's that moment also where something changed in you, which led you to a breakthrough. And that breakthrough has led you to the work that you're doing now. Now you may be thinking, I've had lots of breakdowns, how do I choose just one? And I've heard that a lot. And a lot of breakdowns happen throughout our life, but the one that I want you to tell, and the one that is the turning point for your business and for your story and your message, is the one that then led into the breakthrough. So where is the breakdown that almost broke you, but actually changed you, and you woke up, and you realized a truth that was inside you, and you knew you had to make a change, and then you did, and you took action and that sent you on your breakthrough process where you unlocked the lessons and the tools that you're gonna share in your message. So that whole becomes the diamond moment. Your breakdown plus your breakthrough is the diamond moment, the moment that you wanna share with the world that shows why you are the expert, how you've been there, what makes you unique, and what gives you the credibility to speak on what you're about to share. Now the step number two 
is personality. Now, personality is a big one, and I want you to think about this. What is it that makes you you? What makes you unique? What are some of your quirks, some of the fun things about you that make you who you are? That's what you want to bring to the stage because that's going to set you apart. So I want you to think of for a moment, what does make me unique? Well, for me, one thing that makes me a little different is I laugh a lot. And some people don't particularly care for that. But most people say, you know, you're a breath of fresh air because you're laughing all the time. You're so happy. Where do you get all that energy from? And so I bring that. Another thing I want you to think about is what is something you love? What is something you love to do? And how can you infuse that into your speech? So for example, I infuse a lot of fun things. I make sure that my speeches are very interactive, which I recommend you doing as well. But one thing I love to do is Zumba. I'll be talking about courage and I'll get people up doing things that pushes them out of their comfort zone. I may do some fear factor or karaoke or some funny games that get people up out of their comfort zone volunteering and I usually have to bribe them to come up. But at the end of my speech, I say to everybody to stand up and they don't know what that is about to come. So they all stand up and then I turn on the music and I expect all of them to dance with me. And every single time, everyone in the audience is dancing and having fun and smiling and shaking their hips and moving like crazy. And I'm always amazed at how much fun it is. And when they sit down, I ask the question, how many of you would have volunteered to come up and do Zumba with me. And usually there's one, maybe two people out of a hundred people that would say, yes, I would do that. But most often, not too many would. And then I say, how many of you had fun? How many really enjoyed doing that? Maybe it was the first time you'd ever done that. And almost every hand will go up. And then I tell them, that's courage. And that's the difference that courage can make in your life. Think of all the opportunities to enjoy yourself, to have a new experience that you're missing out because you're too afraid to raise your hand and jump right in. Another way to really bring your personality is to fill in the blank. I am answer. For me, it's I'm happy, I'm optimistic, I'm full of energy. And then you need to bring more of that. So when you're up on stage, when you're speaking, you need to be larger than life. I want you to be you times 10. So when you're on stage, you need to be the bigger personality of yourself. Can you do that? Good, because it will pay off. Now the next part is entertainment. So entertainment, if you're not having fun, they're not having fun. People love to be inspired, but they also want to be entertained. So think about what can you do that brings the E factor, that brings entertainment? Can you add music? Can you add props? Do you do magic? Can you add dancing, singing, activities, challenges, jokes? You good at humor? Bring it. They will love you for it. The next E is emotion. Now that you have brought your personality, you've told your story, you've got them engaged and captivated, you've had fun with them, you've warmed them up to you, I want you to dig deep with them and get them feeling. Feeling emotion is key in any speech. So get them opening up, get them feeling, digging deep. Some of the emotions you might wanna get them feeling, make them laugh, make them cry, angry, sad, happy. Tapping into emotions will help them to connect to themselves and really listen and tune in and apply what you're teaching because it matters on an emotional level. You can bring emotion through the stories that you share. Paint a picture vividly so that they can feel like they're right there with you. You can also bring emotion through your tone, through your voice, through the speed, the softness. So when I tell a story, I really allow myself to feel it. I allow my energy to shift. I feel the emotions myself and that will translate into my voice and help me to deliver that emotion to the audience. Emotion connects. Emotion gets them feeling something. Content. 
Content is king. You've heard that phrase over and over again, and it applies to your speech. I have been to some extremely inspirational speeches, been to conferences and events all over the world, and sometimes I leave feeling really empty or unsure of what I thought of that speech because something was missing, the connection to my life, the content of what I can actually do with this message. So I want you to think about how can I add value to this audience? How can I teach them something that can apply to their life and make a difference in their life now? How do I help them get results? And you want to do this. You don't just want to inspire and entertain. You want to teach. And if you teach content and you show them how they can make things happen in their life in just an hour, then obviously they're going to be wanting to work with you more. Because if you can get them results in an hour, imagine what you can do in a week or a month or a year. The last step is how. And it ties into content because you want to tell them why they need to do something and what that thing is, but a lot of speakers stop there. They give a lot of the why and they talk for a long time about the why and they get you nodding your head and saying, yes, I get it, I need this, this is me, yes, I want it, but they don't tell you how. And that's a big mistake in my opinion. I'm all about teaching and sharing and over-delivering and giving them the steps they need to take to take them from point A to point B. Show them the how, and they will be grateful, and they will become those raving fans, and eventually, I am sure, clients of yours. So these are the six steps to creating and delivering a standing ovation worthy speech that builds credibility and connection. So remember, storytelling, personality, entertainment, emotion, content, and how. Add those to any speech you deliver and you will be making connections. You will be getting booked again and again. And speaking of getting booked, our next video are the six steps to take to get booked when you're just starting out. So I'll see you then. Hey, you could be larger than life.